Um, let's see, what else are we going to do? We've assigned the coordinates. I think next is make textures. Let's see, polygon layout. Again, this is uh, purely your discretion, how you want to do it. Um, also, you can go through and do interactive mapping, which is somewhat neat, I guess. Let's see, get up out of here. There we go. And it'll take you to where you can map your map it however you want and you can move them uh, to be truthful I'm not too adept on this um, but it looks pretty intuitive I guess if you select these polygons here on his face it should let you just handle these po work with these polygons on his face. Let's see. We'll go ahead and highlight all of this. Uh, we then grabbed some chest and some back. <laughs> I like grabbing chest and back. Well, not chest. It's kind of gay. All right, this is getting deleted. Um. Let's see. Shit. Alright, yeah. This is kind of cool, I guess. Um, you just highlight what you really want. And then go through and start the interactive mapping on it. What? Oh. And then with these, you can... Right, you can grab those UVs and fit them to the canvas. Uh, you can relax them. And here you'll have your dog. Um, I guess for painting for the most part. Like I say, if you can figure out a better way to work with them, then great. This isn't exactly my cup of tea. So... That being said, I'm going to continue forward with the tutorial. And that involves not having anything selected and going back to where I like to be. Okay. Let's continue forward. Texture creation. Alright, textures again are images. So it's pretty simple. You go over here where you have all your polygons laid out. And you go ahead and create a new texture. You can create a texture here. You can pick one from your disk. Uh, say you already have. Say I want to give this dog the computer chip layout, right? It'd be kind of funky looking. Go ahead and open that. Hit OK. Patang. Now we have a dog. That's gonna look like a computer chip once I get. Why is this not corresponding again? Oh. Important news. Once you go ahead and. Alright. Once you make your texture, very most important thing to do is to go ahead to your material and enable your texture because your material is applied to your 3D model therefore you're going to want your color not to be white but to be your texture and you can find any textures you create uh, this session or that you haven't closed out via what is this? bitmaps um, and I guess you can reference. Now we don't want Untitled One Tiff. We want Untitled Two Tiff. No, we don't want Untitled Two Tiff either. Huh? What is 
this texture? This is untitled to Jeff. Oh crap. Oh, okay. The one that was on my desktop. There we go. Make sure you follow your paths correctly. Anyways, moving forward. So, as you see, because this is the image I applied in the way these polygons are referencing, it is decided that my dog is now a computer chip. Obviously, that's not going to be what I want because I'm going to want the computer chip to fit in this one little cutoff section. But we are going to mess with that. So, this shows the capabilities. Say, if I wanted my old dog back, I could have just made a new texture or opened a texture rather and then it would have been this obviously I'll just have to connect it I'll title to TIFF yep okay there we go and as we see ah uh, good example as we see everything's not lining up perfectly because this is a UVW that is made for a different dog for instance this what I did in the other one was I had picked all of these polygons on the nose and I had separated them out in fact let me do that now we will grab these all these nose polygons and we will project these flat now that being said we will scale them down as you can do now we'll place these right over my black spot for my nose and that's simply what happened in this case um, the next one it generates shouldn't have any problems of that nature. Now once we have this set, instead of trying to pick every other polygon but this, let's just go ahead and select geometry, invert, and then re-optimal map it. Now, while this came out somewhat close, it isn't going to be perfect. Uh, in this case we got exposed shin bones for no reason and it looks fake but that's not what we're working on however as you see you can apply any map anywhere and easily recreate them uh, rearrange them rather into what you need them to be you can either fit the polygons to the map or you can make the map around the polygons so we'll call that a cut uh, texture creation texture channel assignment okay good we've done the polygon layout We've done, we've created our texture. In fact, let's go ahead and close some of these textures. Like this one. Close texture. Uh, we can keep them open. What is this? Untitled one tiff. Okay, it's just brown. That's whack. We're going to close this. Cannot be closed because it's in the active material. Oh, stupid. Go back to my ugly dog. Now we'll close this. <laughs> 